now, Big Board Sports with Roger Weiland. Well, very good evening, everyone. The Seattle women's basketball team on the road tonight at St. Peter's. Saints are seven and four in the MAC. St. Peter's winless. They're 0 and 11. The men's team, after completing an emotional week, going on the road tomorrow night at Manhattan. Saints sit in first place in the MAC. They are nine and two. Jaspers are five and six. And this is the time you want to peak. So. It's going to be a, a challenge. You know, it's never easy to, to win at Manhattan. Uh, it's going to be a physical game. They're tough. They press. Obviously, Anthony Nelson, Nelson's one of the best guards in the league, and, and Roberts is playing at a high level. level. Um, Stewart's off the bench, averaging 14 a game. So, you know, they're good. They're old. Uh, Rashawn Storrs is their interim coach, and they're playing for him, and they're playing well. They just won at Canisius, where we lost. It is time tonight to meet player number four on our new Channel 13 Rensselaer Honda High School Girls All-Star Basketball Team. She's being recruited by a number of Division I schools. She's only a junior, very talented. Congratulations to six-foot forward Taylor Holahan from Avril Park. Taylor averages we now up to, to 19 points, nine rebounds, seven blocks per game. Holahan, a two-year starter for AP, is being recruited by Fairfield and Canisius and Manhattan. Now, those are all Mac schools. And then Binghamton from the America East. Well, Taylor's really been put in a position with, you know, two great players in Wood and, and, uh, and Lombardi that graduated from last year's state championship team. She's more of a thrust into a leadership role, a scoring role, a variety of moves around the basket with either hand. And she's probably as good a defender as we have. She's blocking shots over six a game. It all starts with defense for Avril Park. And uh, Taylor takes them to another level at that end of the court. She makes a big statement at the defensive end. She can block and alter shots. She's long. She uh, can be intimidating on defense. Offensively, she can use either hand around the basket. She uh, is, a, is a very nice player with really nice potential. It's a big accomplishment. I know, like, as a kid, like, I've been working for things like this, and to be able to to be here and be recognized for all the hard work I put in is really nice. This year, I feel like I kind of help everybody, and they work off of me, and then I work off of them, so it's a little bit more. Congratulations to Taylor. She joins Brantley, Edmonds, and Shooty on the team, also number five, this time next week, guys. Rest that voice, Roger. I will. Thank you very much. Paul's going to be back with a last look at the forecast. First, here's Rachel with what's coming up tonight. Rachel. Hi, Sabrina. Yeah, tonight on Live at 9, we are looking into a Schenectady man facing federal charges accused of producing pornography involving a 10-year-old girl. And we're also continuing our coverage ahead of tomorrow's Alert Day. The latest forecast and how you can stay.